Hi and welcome to my channel of reflex camera tutorials. Today I'm going to show you some different type of reflex camera lenses so that you can find out which lens or lens mounting the lens comes with if you find somewhere a lens and you can't identify it. So we'll take a look at the so-called bajonets and then we'll see the differences. We will begin with my uh, preferred system, the Canon EOS system, personally preferred system. Uh, we have two different types from the Canon EOS system, the so-called EF lens mounting. As you can see this one is made from metal and we have those contacts here that give the information from the camera to the lens and the other way around. Almost every EF lens has a red dot so the red dot fit is on the camera's red dot and then you turn it to the left as you see it from the camera. This one is recognizable with these three noses I would say and of course five dots for these points and two bigger dots uh, with contacts for the camera. The next one, the younger brother from this is the Canon EFS lens mounting. Um, is compatible with the EF lens but only downgradable so that you can take an EF lens on an EFS camera but not the other way. So EF lenses have both, most are almost every time both. This one has only the white square. Some lenses have also um, a red dot but uh, of course not uh, those EF lenses. The camera has the red dot so you can mount both on a modern single lens reflex camera from Canon. So this one has the white square but looks almost like the F EF lens. We put that one away and take a look at an other lens. We have here a Nikon autofocus lens. So if you take off the body cap you can almost see Nikon is the only one that turns the other way around almost. Not the only one but the most famous one with the other way around. We have here a zoom lens. And as you can see this one is made from plastic but the contacts are here on the outer side of the ring. These are four contacts and one separated. We have here a small switch for the aperture and we have here three noses and what we call a bajonet. So you can see this one stands more out than for example the EOS. We put that one away. Take a look at another one. This one is a very special lens, a Minolta lens for the Vectis. You can compare it with a normal Minolta lens. This one is a smaller copy of this with more contacts. But as you see with the um, they're quite flat. The bayonet is quite flat of Minolta and has also the red dot on it and five contacts on the outer ring. The Vectis lens from the APS series is more compact and has two, four, six, eight contact points. Almost the same system but not that flat. So these lenses are of course 
smaller than the normal lenses for the single lens reflex cameras from the old fashioned way. Then we have here also a classic AFD lens mounting, which is a completely different construction from the um, Canon series, for example, the Canon T series from the uh, 80s and uh, or the, the early 80s and the 70s and the 60s. The bayonet works just the other way around. You put it on the camera and then turn this ring here. Not that one, that one. And you see this is has a gap between that and of course here for the aperture again a small switch. This is the FD lens. So the FD lens. We are going to take a look at the MD lens which was the Minolta in earlier times. For example for the X700 or something like that. The older old-fashioned single lens reflex cameras. This is all made from metal of course we have here again the same switch as in almost every lens mounting and that one has three noses outside and this small gap here so that it fits only in one direction on the camera then we have here a pk mounting which has is quite easily to see because it has this up high standing switch also for the aperture and you can see here now oh, this is not easy to see but here are roller rolls or balls for turning easier turning so this one has of course no contact it's a old-fashioned analog lens but you can remember or see it with this red dot of course and this aperture switch then we have here oh we already had that we'll take a look at this one we already had. Take a look at this one. This is a quite special, a Olympus lens with three upstanding contacts. You can see it here, and those two high upstanding borders or something like that. I don't know which are they meant for. It has of course a red stripe, not a red dot, but a red stripe. It fits on a Olympus camera. So we've seen all the cameras, all the camera lens mountings from the last years. And I hope you enjoyed the video and can decide which lens you have in your hands. Thanks for watching. I would appreciate if you take a look at my other videos. Sign in for my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.